This is what your rotor looks like after 4 years and 1 day in the rain. And this is what your rotor should be looking like. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to install brand new rotors and brake pads. I got them from a company called Max. This is a 31547. Once you have it out of the box, we gotta clean it up. So what we're gonna use is some brake cleaner. This will take away the oil, and as you can see, there's a lot of dirt from this napkin. Over here, I'm masking the area off so I can paint the top part black. I also use a cardboard to prevent overspray. Pretty much what I did for painting, I used two to three layers of high temperature black paint. Once that was done, I used two to three layers of high temperature clear coat paint. I let this dry overnight, and the next day was my favorite part, which is where I get to peel off this tape. This is the final result. So we're going to use the brake pads on the bottom. And here's a clip of me not using my brain. I don't know why you guys watch my videos. I decided to get an impact driver, which allowed me to get the wheel out finally. Next, I'm going to take some PB Blaster, spray some on the rusted bolts, let it sit for a little bit, and then I'm going to work with the car, so I'm just going to rotate the rotor. So with the new angle, we got two more spots to spray. The angle's kind of whack, but it's going to be this white screw and this rusted screw over here. Just going to let that sit for a bit. Now we got four bolts to remove. But before we do that, we're going to take out the brake line area here, which is with a 12mm bolt. Next, you get your 14mm, get your impact, and there's going to be two white bolts. One on the top, got the screw out, and then one on the bottom. Once you have those two out, now you can start wiggling out the caliper holder. And make sure when you pull it away, you place it somewhere nice, and as you can see, it's pretty dirty. Just take a little pick at it, try to... Be gentle and take it up. And then finally you want to take your hammer and play jingle bells with the back plate because this is seized on. This is what 4 years of neglect looks like. Alright so grab your 17mm bolt and you're going to struggle exactly like the way I did. So as you can see I'm switching through my PB blaster, my breaker bar, my hammer. Eventually I pull out the impact driver and call it quits and I got the bolt out. Now we're going to do the bottom bolt, same concept, I introduced some heat, some more hammering, and eventually with the impact driver, it easily came out. Now we can pull out this caliper assembly and check it out. These screws you gotta use an impact wrench, but go very, very light. See I'm just bursting it. Sometimes you might screw this step up, so go ahead and take a drill and remove the strip screw. Once you have that done, take a hammer, bang away the rotor because it's rust welded on, and hey, check it out, a VK2. Anyways, once you have that done, you can easily wiggle the rotor out, and we're done with this. Can't wait to put these new rotors on. I decided to do something else. I cleaned up the area, taped off the screws. I'm just going to spray some quick black. Rust reformer is what I'm going to use. After it dries, it's going to look like this. Much better than the rust that we saw. The other thing I did, I put some copper anti-seize, some of this, on the back since I didn't really paint this area. Even though I painted this area here, which should be fine. Try to line it up like this, and you just want to slide that out there. And just to hold it into place. Now I'm going to leave my rotor on an angle, and then off screen I'm going to work on my brake assembly. First thing I'm going to do is use a brake cleaner, and then I'm going to grind it down with this metal wire disc. So we have the old brakes. Remove those. Clean down the area. Basically I'm using these guide pins by Carlston. So these guides are pretty much exactly the same size. They also come with these. These are for the guide pins. Basically you just pretty much pull this out and what you see here, you just rip it open. You can use some silicone. Put it around on the outside and on the inside. You can use some silicone to put some more, yeah? All you gotta do is just push it. That's it. Pretty cool, yeah? Also, this one just kind of... So here's the new boot, here's the new clip, and that's the old guide pin. You do the same thing for the other side, and then we can just put this back on. Yes, bro. Yes. Use Loctite on the screws. And we're done. And torque bolts, 70. That's it. These things, the guide pins, they should be like really easy to manage. Like really 
you can push it in, all that stuff. Brake piston, try to clean as much as you can around here. Try not to get the brake cleaner to touch the rubber. Here's the only special tool you're gonna need. It decompresses the brake piston. Do exactly what I'm doing over here with the old brake pad, and then remove it once it's fully compressed. The other thing I did, I put some copper anti-seize this is what ceramic brake pads look like. You're barely gonna notice any brake dust from now on. Just a corner over here that we're grinding. Tap some brake cleaner on there. Copper anti-seize. That's the kind of play you want. That's how you know that your brake pads are not gonna grind constantly. Finally, we can slide in our caliper knuckle. Use Loctite on the screws. I used an impact driver just to screw it on. And that's what the final brake job looks like with the rotor on and everything else. All right, yo, wheel is on. We're gonna spin it. No sound. Very good. Now, before you even drop your car or anything, you gotta step on your brakes a couple times. One, two, okay. So now there's pressure. All right, so now we can lower this car. And that's how you change your brakes and rotors. Hopefully you guys like this tutorial. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.